And I am with a man who only needs one name, the beautiful Pele who left us recently, Ronaldo, KSI. We can even say FaZe tonight, but I'm with the big man. We've been around a long time. You were one of the architects of this stuff, right? Robbie, CEO of AFTV. We are here tonight. I was just reminiscing with you. We go back years and years. This milieu is fantastic and fascinating, isn't it? It's unbelievable. Look at the, um, look at the following they've got here. Look at the people they've brought out here tonight. Um, and some of the fight, I, I really enjoyed the fight. That last fight was a good fight, you know. So um, no, fair play to them. This is fantastic. Boxing can learn something from you. You're a big boxing fan as well. I mean, you're yeah. a big sports fan. Obviously, you created a following. You stuck with it. These guys have worked really hard. They've done the grit and grime of of their of their hard working lives to dig the trenches and get millions of followers. You know what that's like. What can boxing learn from it, do you think? I think, you know what, I've spoken to a couple of boxers before and I've said to them that, like, I remember speaking to one boxer in particular, I'm not going to say who he is, but he was sort of putting this down. And I said to him, I go, no, nah, you can learn something from this, right? I said, these guys have managed to pull this because of their following that they have on social media. So I said, what you need to do is build up your own following so that when you have a fight, all you've got to do is put it out to your followers that I'm fighting. I'm fighting next week and you know that way you're able to sell tickets to this so you know there's a lot of learning to be done off of what guys like KSI are doing in this you know because basically they are able to pull this because they've got such great followings and their followings are fully engaged with everything that they do so there's a big learning for every boxer you know um, maybe a boxer doesn't need you know a major promoter maybe they can if they've got their own following, they can put their own show up. And everybody's got a narrative. Everybody's got a story in the background. They don't have to go out there and scream loud. Dana White and the UFC did it. Eddie Hearn's done it, hasn't he? Frank Warren and Queensbury have grown through Tyson Fury being with them all those years. And it's it's a it's a growing snowball effect, isn't it? Yeah. You know. And you, what advice would you give to people? who you are advising in that way, if they're not kind of savvy with social media, they're not savvy with doing those kind of, I mean, we spoke to Jack Massey, who's moved up to heavyweight, uh, to fight Joseph Parker next week, uh, and he, he was saying, oh, I'm on the building site doing scaffolding, make videos of you guys scaffolding, people will find it entertaining. Exactly. I mean, people, um, when it's social media, what the key to it is, is people want to know about you. When you, when you talk to that camera, um, the person who's watching you feels like he's having a one-on-one -on -one relationship with you. So they want to know about you. What are you like? What do you do? You know what I mean? So even those sort of things, those minor things that you might think are minor, they want to hear from you. So these boxers, honestly, they can. there's a lot of learning from this. And, you know, you don't have to do the social media yourself. You can get somebody to do it for you. I know a boxer's got his fights to concentrate on. So... But honestly, what these guys are doing is amazing. We're going to see the main event shortly, but let's have a big one for tomorrow from you. Arsenal versus Spurs. That's another fight. <laughs> yeah, come on, come on, let's have a result. I'm, go I'm going for Arsenal winning 2-1. Yes, you are. It's normally a really difficult place for us to go to, but I'm so confident this year because we've got such a good team. And um, I I'm, so I'm going for Arsenal 2-1. I'm with you. Thanks very much, big man. Lovely to see you. Cheers.